Okay, everyone, let us continue. Something I was just thinking about. I didn't go to the audit Zeppelin. Um, this is for the dailies. Um, I haven't, uh, well, I haven't done any in this uh, one. Um, and uh, original, I did a decent amount of dailies. Um, Wow, are not that many people played it? Looks like six people finished the dungeon. Did it just start? Maybe it just started? Hold on, let's see on this one. So about 40 people, I think, colored. 44. But yeah, maybe I'll um, try some. Uh, what's that do? Oh, that just brings up that, right. Uh, so some dailies too uh as well um yeah i'm kind of surprised more people are playing uh with the, the remake coming out and, and everything um yeah so but i think this one must have just uh a new one must have just started Just checking out the other uh, challenges. So it looks like, yeah, I got one with trolls. I'm not trolling you. Oh, right. I haven't played Monk yet. So I guess we'll have to do that. I think, yeah, I'll do a, a human monk um, if they're still the same here. So let's see. So minus two uh, base damage per level um, and then minus 20% attack bonus. So yeah, they have a lot less attack power um, in general, but um, they start with 50 physical resistance and then their health regenerate is doubled. All right, so we'll do another bet on boss for the monies. And then, yeah, since they have um, lower base damage, I'll do a sword. Actually, you know, maybe I'll do the bear mace. I think I'll start with um, the the fine sword. That that'll be a good starter. And we got wait what? As we are all learning, fire likes wait what. Yeah, so snakes kind of suck. Um, if I kill them last, it's not as bad. But yeah, since they stop uh, me from healing because uh, they poison me, so I have to use a healing potion to, um, or uh, these other uh, potions that um, I haven't unlocked yet. 
or there's also a, a healing spell um, once I unlock uh, Paladins. This might be... Binlore, maybe. I'm open. So let, let's check it out. I think this is another god. You feel motivated for conquest. Oh, that doesn't sound like Binlore. Rumors abound of these nondescript altars showing up around the realm. Find as many as possible with your kingdom's adventurers to unlock their full powers. Which god is this? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, meat meat men are your friends, uh, for sure. Uh, level four is probably too much, though. Yeah, maybe that is associated with Benlor. I was trying to figure out why my attack power was higher all of a sudden, um, and I have might. All right, now we'll kill this meat man. Found the zombie one. Oh, have you something, Frank? What? Don't worry, Frank. Good at prying open skull. Frank, be kind and eat you quickly. Regards, Frank the zombie. Bloodstain says what? So that's a pretty good boss to have um, as a monk since their physical damage. Yeah, if it was one that uh, does magical damage, um, that would be much, much, le much less monk friendly. So they got magical attack, so they're uh, a little more annoying to kill. Um,
So something I'm noticing, it's not in the original. It would show me what the knockback damage is. Like I would see a second bar. Um, now I'm not seeing that in this one. Oh, and then also, yeah, uh, the max is 75 instead of 65. Um, and it actually goes the same for uh, the magic resistance, too. Um, though it's obviously much harder to get 75 when you're starting at zero. So I can probably kill them next level. Um, the hell you potion? Uh, no, probably, yeah. Probably, but yeah, I think I can kill them next level. else we got ooh okay goats that would be good to kill next level ah I could probably kill them I think I might be able to kill them, uh, especially there's this attack booster, so that'll, that'll help out a good, good deal. With the monk, I do want to be careful about not using too much, because uh, uh, it's always it's important for me to have regen area. I mean, it's always important with any character, but since the monk, that's their biggest benefit um, or yeah one of their most important mechanics is getting that double regen from um, healing Okay, if I can get one square. Um, nice, there we go. Just double check in here. Okay, yeah, so I know this goats a good uh i think i'll hit him this way that while I, I don't have to chase him through the walls
Yeah, I could probably kill them. Okay, especially because I got uh, level 7 wraiths. So, don't want to try to kill them. Not, not good fodder for the old monk. Alright, so you gotta be careful with the Gorgon and... Oh shoot, I wasted the mana there. So even if I'll survive um, because I won't die from the damage, I'll die um, if I'm below 50% health with their death gaze. Oh man, my damage is only 19. Okay, I'll just cast Fireball. I was thinking of trying to um, wait what them, but we'll just do that. Yeah, so knocking him into that rock is doing uh, six more hit points every time. Uh, what does it do if... All right, it's two less hit points if I hit him into an enemy. Um, but it's still four more 
than um, yeah, without the knockback. So that is a significant amount uh, for the monk at uh, level seven. And it also does four hit points to uh, the enemy I'm knocking him into as well. Which is definitely a trick on killing um, some enemies is doing it that way. I kind of want to try to get to level A. Um, but, well, I also got enough squares. Uh, I'll be fine, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, since I got knockback, I'll just uh, convert this. I need more damage anyways. Almost dead.
Uh, yeah, see, there is um, both enemies. Um, I honestly would have wanted to kill before I started them, but I didn't find them uh, until, you know, they're... the boss here was almost dead. Good old Frank. Julia, it's me, Frank. God, you gotta help me. Points for anyone that knows what movie that's from. Oh, yeah, <laughs> level, level nine uh, warlock. That's the bunk. Is not not fun. That would have helped out uh, a lot, a lot sooner. <laughs> and there's a uh, Earth Mother, but. Actually, yeah, let's make sure there's not any other points of interest and uh, finish the level. I gotta have fun doing like, or you know, uh, okay, get in there isn't that useful for a monk. I mean, it still has its uses, but because you have to hit stuff so much more generally, um, it's definitely, yeah, not, not as useful as um, the other spells.
just had to check this this last uh, I think that was it for all the areas I didn't check yet yeah All right, so I want to test, it does say win here. Like I was saying in the original, if you did this, um, cause this is the entrance, um, you would still lose. I had times in the past where that happened. Okay, yeah, so it looks like you, you win now. So that's good. First victory with Monk. Right, I forgot you got bonus money, yeah, for the first victory with each character in each dungeon. Ooh, I'm actually getting close to uh, tier three upgrade. All right, so good old sorcerer again. I'm gonna do human again. I wonder why I haven't found the orc uh, yet. Sorry, the class, they start with an O and end with a C. Sorry. Can't, can't say their name. Wanna fight? Yes, I do. Okay, good. I was hoping it wouldn't spawn the enemy on one of those objects. Ooh, a meat man. I can probably kill them. Um... Oh, I don't even have to. Right, I got the shield. That's why. Nice. So even though I'm going to get poisoned and everything, I can just cast Wada Fight and yeah, I don't have to worry. Or what I'm worried about is um, that's why I do like starting with the bear base. Um, I want to cast it again, but I could get blocked off, so I'm just going to wait. the yin and yang. Kind of wishing I did start with a bear base because this is fairly annoying uh, layout.
hoping there's another open area up here so I can like summon enemies. Yeah, uh, yeah, another spot. <laughs> That was weird. I clicked there once and it didn't respond. I think I could actually probably kill them. I need uh, another spell besides wanna fight. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Cause I wanna start beating on them, but I also don't wanna keep on like summoning enemies right around there. Yeah, it just, just gonna wait for a moment. All right, so they're level four, so I'm gonna attack that, attack them, and then. There we go.
Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> End this wall. Probably could have pretty easily killed them, um, but I wanted to kill the snake, so uh, I didn't have to worry about the poison. Ah, there's the badge of honor. So that, yeah, like I said, it looks just like that other one you can start with. Um, its color is just uh, different. But uh, yeah, this one, click on it and get that death protection. Every time I'm having difficulty finding um, the god, uh, yeah, it seems right now there's only one on a level. Um, so that's part of it is, yeah, there's only one to find. Right, 
right. I was like, what was down here? Forty nine. Okay, oh, so maybe, um, I was never sure with this, uh, so maybe I just have to kill it without, um, exploring any squares. Okay, I bet that's probably it. Yeah, that was when I was never sure on the rules of... But yeah, now I get plus six uh, base power, uh, attack power, and then um, so right now I'm at only at a twenty percent bonus, but I've really converted. Um, did I convert anything yet? Uh, oh yeah, it does say I got a ten percent bonus. I kind of remember wh what it was I converted. I'll convert Wada Fight, um, but not yet. Not really any reason I need to right now either. There's nothing for me to fight um, as far as, like, you know, difficult enemies. Oh, I see. I'm, I can tell um, with the walls. Um, I see it's thinner if there's something on the other side. So that's probably how I'll be able to see if there's a secret. Um, if it's the same as the other one, because you could tell, like, if there's a secret on this all the way back square. Um, Wait, no, actually, that's a bad example. If there was a secret on the other side of there, I could tell because the wall there would look thinner. Um, so that's probably, yeah, going to be the way to tell in this one. Right now, it's only a guess. I really don't know. Jahora, Jahayu, sir. Even though I'm a lot over with the le uh, the level. Oh, but the good thing is, um, you'll get PD um, more than you would if it's at the beginning of the level because they. Uh, I don't know the exact rules, but I know it's like. I think for stuff that would make them happy, you you'll get like um, at least some of that PD when you weren't with them. When they're the first god. Um, since uh, once I'm able to start seeing multiple gods, I can convert to another god. Oh, there was one level. Right, I did see. Um, maybe it's because this is one of the normal levels. So I want to first uh, petition so I don't get punished. punished it.
All right, hopefully they don't punish me. I need just two piety, and I'm gonna use wait what? Okay, good. Now I will petition. So, yeah. All right, good. I didn't get any negative debuffs. And then I can convert this uh, wait what? Oh, never mind. I thought that was saying I got 10% from that. I think that was, I didn't convert anything yet. That was from a, a booster, I think. I don't know. I can't remember what happened, uh, you know, day, the day before. Um, so playing a game, I can't remember what happened five minutes ago. Oh, old age, old age. Unfortunately, Jahora Jahayu does not like um, or doesn't care uh, when you use like Endless Wall. Um, same with uh, Burn Duress. Um, they like uh, get in there, um, a spell I haven't got yet, sidestepped. I think Blood to Power. there's any more level 8 enemies? Yeah, there is not. Shoot. Where is the boss? So, yeah, they're either right by where I am or they're over there. I actually want even more mana, yeah. Um, that way I can... Oh, I can, never mind. Yeah, I can kill them with three fireballs right now. Okay, we're gonna do that. There they are. Life, what? Envy, resentment. Anger, hate, hate, hate. Regards, the tormented one. That's problematic. All right, so yeah, it's annoying when you have bosses like these. Um, so they're fifty-nine physical resistance. So I won't do that much damage um, with my regular attack. Though so I'll do a little more um, since I am playing as a sorcerer and. Uh, I get the modishield damage, which is magic damage, on top of my attack. But yeah, I want to attack him with lots of fireballs, which isn't a problem because I got tons of mana. Alright, so I'll definitely want to... Um, level up while I'm fighting them. I mean, the vast, vast majority of the time I'm going to do that when I'm fighting bosses. Oh, see, um... I didn't get the bonus experience there because um, 
they got to attack they got woken up from the slow before they died because they died from uh, my mana shield not from me attacking because yeah they had more than 59 hit points but the game still said I was going to get that bonus experience so uh, sad face Sad finger crossbows, yes. Sad, sad finger crossbows. Okay, so I'll attack three burned your asses. Burn your ass. And then... Kill them, and then I'll finish them. Uh, oh, you know what? I can teleport them, yeah. Get that bonus experience. Very, very important. I wonder. I want to get. Uh, I I didn't really go over um, the other um, two uh, perks from this god. So there's last chance, um, which can restore all of your mana and health and the uh, percent chance of it happening is how much PD you have. Um, 100 PD is max PD, so that give you 100% of it happening. Um, but, and then if it doesn't happen, you get nothing. <laughs> so really, it's only something you want to do if you really don't have any other um, options. Kinda of why it's called Last Chance. I'm just using Wait What to uh, build up the Piety. But what is fun to do is uh, Chaos Avatar is pretty cool. Um, gives you 100 conversion points. Um, I thought it levels you, right? Yeah, boosts one level. Cause yeah, it doesn't say there. So boosts one level. Um, it removes poison, mana burn, corrosion, weakening. Um, you get gifted a hundred item conversion. Um, so human, uh, yeah, I'd get uh, another 10% damage bonus. And then it reduces all enemy resistances by 20%. Um, and what it means by same screen only, um, there's dungeons with multiple floors. So that wouldn't do you any good. Um, or if there's a, like a sub dungeon here, um, it wouldn't work on enemies down here. Not that they had any resistance. But yeah, so well, it's both physical and magic resistance. So it's nice. So like these would only have 10 physical resistance. Um, and then like the goats, they would only have five. But yeah, I want to see if I can get it uh, before I finish. And, uh, but this point, it's just completely for fun. Uh, yeah, to, to, for me to get it. 
Can I level? Let's see. Eight experience. Unless I'm missing an enemy. Um, hey, I thought I did better at experience. But yeah, it's probably because I did have to kill quite a few enemies. Um, same or lower level because of um, how constrained I was. Um, yeah, I, I, I was forced to kill him. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do it. Uh, I could have used some potions. It would have still been pretty close. Quest complete second generation. Economic hit. The kingdom taxidermist approaches you wearing a slightly concerned look and a rather tasteful pair of shoes. Er, Kingdom Administrator, do you have a moment? The figures on these monster heads don't look quite right. There's a sudden drop in stock values across the board. I can't fully explain it, but the evidence so far points to someone aside from us providing monster trophies to the market. Nothing confirmed yet, but the trend is disconcerting. Track it, please. Double take once more with filling. You've repelled against one boss, but how will your veterans deal with two? Defeat Double Doom with every third tier hero. It's time to deal with the Den of Danger once and for all. With fully stocked kingdom, march forward with our finest heroes and demonstrate your mastery of this dungeon. Defeat the Den of Danger with every third tier hero. Warlord, Blood Mage, Paladin, and Assassin. Well, so actually, honestly, going with third tier heroes. Um, oh, no, I was thinking, yeah, never mind. I would have to go with uh, Paladin, yeah. I'm not that fond of Blood Mage. Unless they've been changed. Assassin is, is still fun um, as far as the, the Thief's Guild. Um, and war Warlords, um, kind of fun, though. Um, unless they've been changed, too. I, I didn't really think they were really that great in the original. They were fine, but... Paladin, probably, a, a, I would say, is definitely the best, like, third-tier third hero. Ever impressive kingdom administrator, you may now build the equally impressive megasmith for your kingdom. All you need is enough gold and an upgraded blacksmith. Oh, mega sounds good. Class unlock paladin. Dragon spawn. Most faith-filled kingdom administrator, advancing our cathedral to full-blown ministry of omnipotent affairs has done wonders for a religious PR, but we've irritated a local population of dragon spawn. They believe that the stone circle we demolished 
to make room for our department of unnecessary paperwork was a sacred and ancient symbol of enlightenment. Hmm. In all fairness, they should have filed their complaint several months earlier if they wanted to make sure it got through kingdom bureaucracy in time. This one is on them. Where does it show the class challenges? I thought those showed up on the... when you clicked on these. Maybe I need to finish more of these. Yeah, no, I remember in the original, I was able to do them pretty, pretty quickly. Okay, well, let's do the Eastern Tundra. Play a, a gnome priest. Well, actually, I guess let's do a halfling priest. I mean, a halfling priest actually makes quite a bit of sense. Though, so does a dwarf. Yeah, a dwarven uh, priest. Um... But yeah, we'll do a, a half lean one. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I'm gonna do no prep so I get um Purist. I really, really like the music uh, on these levels. Evil vampire. Yeah, they uh, take away life um, when you explore dark squares and find them. Uh, they steal 40% um, of their life. Well, your life, but they can still... Um, oh, I'm trying to react to the mechanics now. Anyways, yeah, they have 40% life still. Yeah, I believe it's 40% of their maximum life. Maybe it's 40% of yours, because I'm actually looking, because uh, it looks like they have 11 of 6. Get in there! Gonna try to kill them first, and then then I want to kill um, the wraith. But yeah, if I can get a dodge. Oh, okay, good. And this wall. Not that it will help me with them, but I can get around stuff. All right. So dragon spawns. Yeah, they uh, have magical attack and. Um, they have more hit points than some of the other enemies. Um, not being meat men. <laughs> I 
Oh, a goat. That's better. Dodged. Now dodge this. So I'll just need to heal one hit point, um, and I'll be able. To, yeah, I'll be able to kill them. So I'm just gonna go attack. Oh, well, let's do an end this wall, though. Um. Oh yeah, I should be able to kill them um, because of the double damage. Okay, I just need to end some more walls uh, for defense. I wish I knew that was there. Uh, I probably would have tried to kill them first. Oh, okay. Um, trying to decide if I want to try to transition to the goat. I forgot that was only a level four one, so that wasn't too bad. But this will probably be another god, I bet. Uh, this one's probably the glowing guardian. This altar bears an inscription. The true follower is both loyal and valiant. Seek out and conquer the darkness. Return the tokens of power. Another piece of writing lists below carved more hastily by different hands. P.S. Five should probably be enough. Five tokens, eh? I bet, um, it's from these vampires. 
Oh, no. Okay, maybe not. Oh, there we go. Yep. Okay, yeah, it's definitely the Glowing Guardian because prayer beads... Um, Yeah, a token of the glowing guardians, grace and power, as one magic resistance cannot be converted. Oh, I see. They uh, these appeared. Ah. Okay. Nice, got a dodge. So I assume there's going to be a level seven and then, yeah, got that level nine one. Oh, stupid vampire. Yeah, I should be able to kill them with enough end this wall. Okay. That's actually fine that it takes me down to one hit point because uh, I wanted to build up more stacks. And we get this cool compression seal. Yeah. I think I'll do it on the get in there. Thank you. 
I thought I was doing more. I'm confused. Yeah, I thought I was doing more damage to them than that. I think maybe I'll use the healing potion if I don't dodge here. That's too bad that they're not considered undead, those dark ones. Oh, where is burned her ass? Yeah, I just realized I hadn't found that. Oh, okay, so it looks like I don't have to kill a bunch of, like... Oh, doesn't look like they dropped a bead, though. Hey, I was hoping, yeah, at the very least I wouldn't have to kill the level 9 one. Okay, so I can probably kill them now. Well, not probably. I can definitely kill them now. Um, okay, yeah, I shouldn't need to explore anymore. That should be enough.
That was annoying, no dodge. I mean, I got a 50% dodge chance now. Um, oh, too bad the Gorgons are first strike. Um, otherwise, I could probably kill them. Because um, I, I can't use get in there to get a free attack. I think probably I could kill this serpent because I'm almost certainly guaranteed a dodge. There we go. Um, I want to kill them. You know what? Actually, I should level. Uh, oh, actually, I can probably um, start on them and then, yeah, then I can level. This way, I can start worshipping the glowing guardian. A voice comes out of nowhere. You bring me the tokens of a loyal, true follower. Perhaps you have what it takes to walk the narrow, righteous path. Yup, righteous. I'm not the biggest fan of the Glowing Guardian. Uh, it's kind of too... Um, it's fine in the easier dungeons, but I, as far as the perspective of like harder dungeons, um, I don't find it that helpful. Humility is nice, so this lowers uh, your level. Um, and then basically you can gain that level again. Um, you do have to get increased experience, but, uh, it makes it easier to kill high level enemies. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Absolution removes a uh, low level enemy. Um, doesn't work on undead and gives you four hit points. Problem is you keep on getting these prayer beads and you cannot convert them. Um, 
that's part of what I don't like about him. be nice if I could kill them. Oh. Alright, so I was attacking them first, and then doing wait what again, and then I'm going to do humility. Yeah, so now I'm level 6, but so I'll get bonus experience, because um, they're level 7. But yeah, you keep all the stats, it just, um, you don't, you get the lower hit, rec um, hit points recovery for exploring squares um and then like with spells like wait what um you know you can't pull in enemies that are higher level than you so i can't do the level seven that's why i did that before i i, I grabbed them wait where is Oh, they're right there. Okay, the boss is right by that god or shrine over there. So they like you to convert items, uh, the glowing guardian. So I'm gonna convert this. They do not like potions. Um, actually, what I'll do is I'm gonna convert one of each. Um, so they like it if you convert them, you get five PD for each. likes me killing undead. Yeah, so I think they're right on that square right there. I want to kill them. Um, Let's see. Okay, there we go. Also likes it when you get poisoned. They're, they're no, another one of those gods that uh, wants you to suffer. <laughs>
kind of feel like that's uh, all gods. There is the boss. I don't know where I got my accent from or what I can do to get rid of it. Oh well, my god, count blah blah blah. Freelance tracheotomy? Oh, so I see. I was curious what happens when you fill up. Uh, so it starts stacking another row um, with the inventory. Because what matters is this bag icon. Um, if I'm uh, 30 of 30, uh, then I'd be totally full. It doesn't matter how much you are across the screen. Oh, I can use Schadenfreude. Um, it's only healing and mana potions. The glowing guardian doesn't like. So they uh, retaliate. So you can see there, uh, I take 38 damage. Um, yeah, so it is, it is half their attack. 37.5, but yeah, it's only integer value, so it rounds up to 38. Account to blah, blah, blah. Um, kind of not sure what I want to do right now. Kind of explored a lot of the map. That, that's one of the things I threw with Glowing Guardian. I mean, I had to get them unlocked, but um, yeah, I, I, like honestly, a lot of times I feel like doing the the humility, like it's cool, uh, but it depends on what you're playing and stuff like that. Actually, wasn't a great time for me to do the humility. Their physical attack. Yeah, so what I'll do is instead of casting Fireball, I'll just um, do End This Wall to get um, physical resistance. I'm not sure what I want to do. Yeah, I, part of it is I'm like looking. I'm like, gosh, there doesn't feel like there's a lot of a lot of enemies left, or at least of the higher level. You get one PD if you kill an enemy when they have uh, burning on them. All right, so I think I'll just see. Yeah, I'll start working on the boss. I keep on thinking they should be magic attack, but they're not, yeah. So this uh, heals you. Um, so it's kind of what you're supposed to do instead of using potions. I think I'll do one more absolution. Okay, then I just want to make sure I can 
attack. Okay, I can attack him once. So that's perfect. Okay, I was hoping to get a dodge. Nice, got a dodge. I'm gonna use shot and fruit. Um, so yeah, I'll get all my mana back when they attack me. As you land the killing blow, a creature teleports nearby. Your ears buzz and your eyes find it difficult to focus. There's a powerful glamour at work here. Who are you? H. Hello, adventurer. No, please, don't concern yourself with combat right now. I'm sure you fought long and hard for that monster trophy, and I'd hate to swoop in and take something undeserved. It's the lowest form of behavior, you know. I'd just like to mention that I've been keeping an eye on these lands for a while, and I don't really care who or what you choose to fight, but I do have a certain disdain for unwelcome visitors. Please, when you return to your kingdom, kindly inform your superiors that H has t formally told them to sod off. I'm only asking once. Toodles. Hmm, H. Oh, I, I know what H stands for. Well, I can't read it. Did I read a sign that... Um, I can't remember if I read one that mentioned uh, them yet. I meant I read one that mentioned where they resided, I know. Yep, okay, I'm gonna stop looking for secrets because apparently uh, they, they don't uh, appear yet. What was this? I don't even remember. Oh, right. Yeah, I could have explored more down here, too. But yeah, you don't get that much PD. I mean, if you start out level one, um, the biggest way you gain the PD is gaining levels um, towards the later parts. Um, converting like potions and stuff also is, uh, is a good amount. But um, this costs 100. This is like the biggest boon. Um, the problem is... Uh, Wizard's good because you have a lot of inventory space. Part of it is just the inventory space problem. Um, tinker, a class uh, I don't have yet. That's um, a decent class for a glowing guardian. Also because you can buy a lot of stuff and convert it uh, for more piety. And then like another good way is yeah, desecrating other altars.
Okay, I just want to make sure there's no other points of interest. I think that's everything. So we're going to go win. Uh, let's uh, go. All right, so I got half the badges. Special edition content. Hi there, you've just discovered a unique part of your ever-expanding kingdom. This used to be DLC in the original game. The Goat Gallade offers an exclusive monster class to play with, as well as several ultra-special campaign scenarios, which are ultra-hard. They're honestly the hardest thing in the game um, besides um, doing something with the, the final dungeon to make it really hard. Um, they're very hard. The goat... Uh, oh, these challenges are not to be underestimated, so invest your gold wisely. Goat on goat action. Gotta fight goats with goats. <laughs> so it looks like he gave me the goat person class. Uh, but yeah, that, that was DLC content um, in the previous one. Oh, okay. I got to pay 3,000 gold. They are a, a class of uh, randomness. Finding, well, I mean, I found Jahora Jehi. Hold on, let's see. Um, I mean, I do like um, uh, Earth Earth Mother. Um, and then they're okay, but still uh, missing the, the most powerful of the gods. Oh, Glowing Guardians. Punishment, by the way, is uh, the worst. Um, well, actually, the worst is actually um, Jahora Jehu's um, desecration punishment. You can only get this if you desecrate um, them, and it's like only half the time. Uh, but the Glowing Guardians uh, is you lose everything in your inventory. Uh, I mean, there's sometimes it couldn't be too big of a deal. Um, like if you found them and you were able to like desecrate them early on. Um, but like, yeah, you found another god and then you were like, ugh, glowing guardian. And uh, you didn't like take any, that's the thing, if you take any preparations, it's like, you're gonna lose all those. Um, but if you were doing like purist and you know, you didn't pick up any any items on the ground, you just had your two starting potions. Um, oh yeah, it, or any glyphs, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could convert uh, the stuff, you know, because you would know you're gonna be desecrating, but yeah, horrible punishment. Generally, probably uh, about the most debilitating. <laughs> All right. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, let's do the blacksmith real fast. Okay, so now... Um, Looks like it just gave me the really big sword as another one. All 
I forgot though that lockers were for from the um, the guild. So that's actually a reason to upgrade to level three. All right, uh, I'm going to stop for now. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we're, we're moving along here, uh, getting more of the classes unlocked. Um, so I got level two on all of everything, except I got level three church. So I got nine, nine of the classes, um, almost, almost half the classes right now. But yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there's quite a few more classes um, and I, I can unlock the goats. Uh, though they're not one of my favorite to play. They're, they're very random, um, but uh, they're, they're interesting to play though too. So it'll be kind of fun. Uh, and they might've changed them a little bit because uh, I think they were kind of a, a joke in some of the ways um, from what I read um, from the creators. Uh, but yeah. This is fire, and we're on fire.